I mean, look at that stud. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back at it again. We're out at the pond that we caught our first uh, bedding bass of the year so far. We're gonna check the other side, the north end of this pond. It's cold. I don't expect to find anything, and if I do, it's gonna be a tricky bite. So uh, I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet and to the point. Let's get after him. He's up on one. He's got his back to us too, so. The other thing, guys, is, is this pond is um, really clear. This will be a interesting little flip in here. So we swam off right away. I just think that this weather's got them, uh, got them a little messed up. Bet you we come back later. It, uh, might change how they're feeling. Oh, there's actually a bedded pair right here, I think. They spooked right away. So we've been here about an hour, guys. The one kind of died a little bit, at least on this side. Seeing a lot more fish. Uh, Further on down, I can see that there's a bed fish. I don't know if he's locked, but I'm gonna go check out that fish because he seems pretty big from over here. That's actually a pretty good size fish, guys. Probably another solid three pounder, guys. Let's see. I don't spook him. on the bed but I don't know if he saw me he moved off just a little bit I got the craw right now next to his bed I'm just gonna let it soak for a second let him feel comfortable with me around I'm gonna move off a little bit try the jig here but what I'm gonna do is move to the other side of him because he definitely can see me This might have been the ticket, guys. He doesn't like the jig. He's already hit it. Oh, guys, I swung on him too early. I found the spot, though, that he doesn't like. Okay, I'm back on the bed. He's on it. He's pecking it. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys. Oh, this is a good fish, guys. This is a good fish. Stay down, buddy. Oh, this is a good fish, guys. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. That's a good one. I told you that was a good one. Whew. All right. Guys, look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. I mean, look at that stud. That's gonna be an easy four pounder. All right. Oh, guys. We got a new 4.06. 4.06, guys. First four pounder of the year. Nice fish, guys. Four pounds, 406, 406, guys. Oh, we're gonna let him go. Oh, I am jacked. I am jacked. All right, guys, so just released that four pounder. I'm gonna leave this pond now and kind of just, first I gotta go recharge the GoPro, gotta get a new memory card and all of that. But four pounder on the channel guys 406 uh definitely upgrading the bass this year so far so this pond is definitely producing for us right now so what we're gonna do is like i said we're gonna go back recharge the batteries get some new memory cards 
and come back later see what uh, we can find but there's a few other spots that we're gonna hit today so stay tuned guys alrighty so after a quick lunch break recharging the GoPro batteries um, and getting a new memory card for the GoPro we are back at it guys so we have this place right now to ourselves I think um, there's a few people behind me that either just stopped fishing or are getting ready to uh, go fish so uh, most people here pan fish it's a good um, crappie area so we're gonna just quickly cruise here the winds kind of blowing in but there's there's a nice little isolated pocket right here that's real nice and calm we're gonna check for some bed fish so let's get after it water is extra high here at this place and visibility is absolutely zero i mean oh my god oh my god guys oh my god that was so sick that was so sick that was so sick i didn't even know there was a fish there that was sick that was sick didn't even know there was a fish there absolutely clobbered the jig oh man absolutely first cast guys first cast literally right in front of us i can't see anything in this body of water 3.9 guys 3.9 tricky part is going to get this release gently on him uh, there's definitely probably his bed is right here there he goes I didn't see with the grass I mean he hammered that that crawl I'm gonna need a new crawl holy moly that was a hard stopper I can't wait to see that on video there was no if ands or buts about it. I didn't even do a good hook set on him guys or anything I don't think I mean it'll be fun to watch the footage back. That was sick. That was sick. Literally not even here five minutes. And we already put a three pounder away. Quick cruise down the bank. Uh, was right there at that bench. I mean, you guys can, I'm sure, see along. And this whole bank is just been fanned out by a ton of fish. And uh, similar, you know, it looks like there was a spillway here as far as the water. I think there's a fish right here on one of these beds. So there's a couple beds back to back here. But I think one of them is holding a fish. So I'm going to give it the old try here as far as seeing if I can get him to bite. The wind here is just absolutely killing me right now. So... But we're gonna try. We're gonna try here with this crooked crawl. Yep, right away. Right away, guys. Right away. Right away. Took no time at all. These fish are 100% locked on here today, guys. 100% locked on. I mean, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right in the top of the mouth, where you want it. I'm not going to get a weight on him because, well, he's about a pounder, guys. Not the biggest. Uh, he must have just hit himself a little bit. Taking a little bit and just bleeding a little. We'll keep everybody honest today. 1.77, guys. We'll get the release. he goes he went right back his bed was right there I mean right away right away main difference between these fish here I'm gonna try and stand with the wind against my back so you guys can hear me better the main difference between these fish here and the fish from earlier today is these fish are keyed in right away I mean 
both fish hit on the first cast to the bed. I mean, within seconds of this jig, this jig just getting in there and literally just a couple of twitches and, and they're done. They want it out of there and I mean, they're eating it. They're not pecking at it. They are slamming it home and just going to town. We've arrived at the next spot here, right in front of me. It's about a two pounder. It's the best fish that I've seen so far, but I have no idea. Oh, I see his bed. His bed is going to be absolutely impossible. I mean, he is eyeballing me. This water is really clear here. It's really calm. He definitely knows I'm here. I mean, it's a nice size fish. It's probably about a two, two and a half pounder. I want to try and catch him, but the problem here is going to be getting him up. I don't know what this bank is like here and how steep it is and if it's solid or not down in here. So it seems solid right there. I might be able to pull them out. All right, guys. Right? I mean, you make the cast and then you figure it out after that, right? So here we go. I mean, he's already, he's already keyed on the jig. He's not liking the jig already. Oh my God, guys, okay. So our bed fish is right here along the, the weed line. He's just hanging out, but cruising, just cruised right by and right where he was. Massive, massive female massive at least five pounds guys at least Whew. all right guys <laughs> it has been a long day um, but an awesome day so we started off this morning at the pond where we caught our first two bedding bass so if you haven't seen that video, that was the last upload. We started at that pond where we caught uh, three plus pounders uh, off beds, uh, both solo males, uh, really nice fish, 0.62 and 3.66. So 3.66 was our uh, bass to beat. PB was set today. I can't be happier. Uh, it's an official PB too for me. Um, my unofficial PB is, is definitely, I think, bigger than what we caught today, but I, I won't count that as my PB because I don't know how much the bass weighed. I know it was bigger and it definitely um, was, uh, I think, in the five uh, pound class, um, but a 4.06 in Northern Illinois, in a small pond, awesome. Uh, he took a little bit of time, as you guys see, I, you know, I didn't bore you guys with how long it took. It took about, God, anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes for me to get that fish. That's the part of bed fishing uh, that some people don't understand is, it's not you go there, you catch, you throw it to the bed and you catch that fish. You really have to figure out that fish. Um, and as we saw, I was working a Texas rig craw, the craw that was that I used on those three pounders that we caught previously at the same spot, at the same pond. Um, and this fish just wasn't having it. And for whatever reason, uh, we picked up this jig and we threw it in there. And in a couple of minutes, he definitely ate and we see the aftermath and we came home for lunch recharged the GoPro batteries and took the dog out um, after lunch we went to what I like to call call the honey hole um, it's not a very known location for bass um, the location is known for panfish and some really nice pike but not too many uh, bass fishermen as far as the 
three, two or three years that I've been going there, not too many bad fishermen, especially around the spawn. So I think people discount it because it's part of the river system here uh, by us. So it's a small cut out of the river. It's an awesome spot. Um, I don't know why people don't fish it for bass as much as I would think they do. Um, but like I said, not, um, not a very popular spot for bass. That first fish out of there, I forgot what it was three something. Uh, it was a three pounder. Had no idea it was there. It literally almost took the rod out of my hand. Uh, and then our second guy again was uh, a little bit over a pound and a half. Uh, same deal, both just ate right away. And all our fish today came on this right here, guys. A Wu Tungsten, either it's a three eighths or a half ounce. I, I wanna say it's almost a half ounce. Um, tungsten jig, black and blue. Um, what I'm going to do is take off this craw because this craw is completely and utterly demolished. I mean, it is just toast. So, but the jig itself, real nice jig, real nice uh, fluffy skirt, great, great uh, weed guard, and a great nice hook on it, a real sturdy hook. And then our uh, craw, um, what I did was is I took off the first two segments of the cracking craw, made it a real nice little chunk and that's what we used today guys was a black and blue jig black and blue trailer great combo looks great together um, 50 pound power pro braid was uh, our line today that we used and we were using that um, shimano slx uh, rod 72 heavy uh, real real nice rod first fish on that rod for me first time bed fishing with it i absolutely love it i love it more than my 7.2 medium heavy real was the shimano corrado dc um great performance on both the rod and reel the line you guys saw it that four pounder obviously awesome we did a little bit more pond hopping after uh the first spot with those three the three pounder and that one and a half uh, but really saw some fish, but really, really didn't see any fish that wanted to commit. Saw a big fish. It had to have been at least four and a half, five pounds in that range. Um, so really sad that it swam off and it never came back. I, I didn't do too much filming at these last few ponds. So shout out to Kevin for showing me the ponds around his house. Um, real nice area, but not a lot of fish. That first pond that I was at had some fish. Then we fish two spots right next to where my friend lives um nothing saw signs of bass but nothing in the water nothing if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to smash that thumbs up hit those that bell so you get the notifications of when the next videos are coming up and be sure to subscribe to the channel guys subscribe subscribe there's a lot of awesome content coming and as always the link to the instagram is down in the description below i appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one